Hello and welcome back to NDCS, the National Deaf Children Society, and to Family Sign Language. My name is Kathy. Today we are in session nine. Don't worry if you've missed previous sessions as you can still catch up by watching those videos on the YouTube channel to learn the previously covered content. Today, we will go over last week's content, as well as teaching you the new signs for this week. And you should find that we are building on the content throughout the course. Please do keep sending in your practice videos and we'll feature them in the next video. You can add your videos to the comment section below or post them on any other social media platforms such as Facebook, YouTube or Instagram using the hashtag Family Sign Language. I will answer your questions in the next video. I'm excited to teach you some new signs today. Last week we were learning signs related to everyday conversation. Have you been practicing? Let's go through the signs again together to see what you can remember. Are you ready? Question signs. Who? What? Where? When? Which? Why? How? Now we'll use phrases that use question signs. Your name what? You live where? How old are you? Drink orange or black currant? Which? You arrived here when? You arrived here how? These are some examples of questions that you might ask every day. Here is some more vocabulary that we've covered. I understand. I don't understand. Now use your head to nod and shake with these. Can. Can't. Again, use your head. Please. Thank you. These are the same sign but with different lip patterns. Again? So if you don't understand the sign, you would sign this again, please. Look at me. You might use this if your child isn't watching when you sign or speak. Be careful. Have fun. Give. Now remember, this is directional, so it goes in different directions. So you can make a game out of this one. Giving. And that's the same with help. And that's all that we've covered. Keep practicing. Today we're going to learn some new signs relating to timelines. Are you ready? As usual, I'll repeat each sign twice, so don't worry if you miss it the first time. 
Are you ready to begin? Copy me. Days of the week. Okay, the weekdays. Monday. It's M twice. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. You may notice a difference between Father and Friday. The weekend. Saturday. Or you could use this sign. Sunday. Okay, let's go through that one more time. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's the days of the week and the weekend. Keep practicing. Here are some more timelines. Past, present, future. Any signs regarding the past will refer to the space behind you. Yesterday. Last week. Last month. Last year. Before. There is another sign for before, so before you go, but we're referring to the past, we use this one, before. We'll go through those again. Yesterday. Last week. Last month. Last year. Before. Now we'll do some signs for the present. Use these signs in front of you. They are happening now, today, this week, this month, this year, now. Do those again. Today, this week, this month, this year, now. And now, the signs for the future. These signs are ahead of you. Tomorrow. Next week. Next month. Next year. Later. Do those one more time. Tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, later. Okay, they were all signs used in timelines. Here are some other signs that you may use. Every week, or every week. Every day. This could be linked to everyday activities. Every day, brush your teeth. Every day, brush your hair. That's a lot of new sign vocabulary for you to learn. To help you to learn these signs for timelines, 
I will show you an example of how to use them in a conversation. Next week, on Tuesday and Thursday, I will go to the park to ride my bike. Here's another sentence you could try. Today, I will have a quick shower because tomorrow I will have a bath. It's good to use activities to practice timelines and the signs that you have learned today. With young children, you can draw pictures of what you are doing now and later. This will help with their understanding of activities for now and later. For example, now, eating dinner. Later, we'll go to bed. This can help to distinguish between day and night activities. Here's another idea for a game. It's called Say It, Spell It, Sign It. You can play this with two or more people from your family. You write down the days of the week onto pieces of paper. Then you fold them up and put them into a box or a bowl. And these could be written or drawn on the paper. So somebody will pick out one of the pieces of paper which could have any of the days of the week written on. For example, you could pick one out and spell it. M-O-N-D-A-Y. And then somebody would guess Monday. This is a great activity to help you to practice your finger spelling and to remember the signs that you have learned. Here's another example. F R I D A Y. Ah, that's right, it's Friday. It could turn into a nice bit of competition trying to get the highest scores. Here's another activity that you could try to practice the days of the week. On Monday, I went swimming. On Tuesday, I played football. On Wednesday, I was cooking. On Thursday, I went to the park. On Friday, I was reading a book. It's a nice activity, including the days of the week. It's another idea to help you to build up your signing fluency. Another game you could try involves turn taking. This is great to practice finger spelling and to further build up your signs. This game is great to play with your family. The first person may sign M O N D A Y Monday. I went swimming. And then the next person would repeat what the first person said and would add their own sentence. Monday I went swimming, on Tuesday I was cooking. And then the next person would repeat. Monday I went swimming, on Tuesday I was cooking, on Wednesday I was reading a book. And this continues around the group trying to remember all of the signs that you have learned. It's a really fun game that you can do together. You keep on practicing to build up your signing vocabulary. It encourages turn taking, finger spelling and signing. There is a lot to remember, but try to use the signs that you've been learning throughout the course. Keep practicing your signing. Enjoy yourselves and good luck everybody. I hope that you have enjoyed today's family sign language session. Don't forget that you can share your practice videos or ask any questions relating to sign language using the comment section below this YouTube video or post on Facebook or any other social media platforms using the hashtag family sign language and I'll feature them in the next video. Happy signing everybody! Next week 
we will learn some new signs talking about the weather. Thank you for joining us today. I hope that you've enjoyed it. See you next week. Goodbye.